Here is the third of eight stories about sixth grader Little Jack. In this third hero's journey tale, Little Jack will attempt to cross the first threshold. Most of the clip art used in these slides were drawn by the author's former sixth grade student, T.J. Hutchison. This very gifted young man drew many of the pictures utilized in Miss Debbie Dunn's conflict resolution curriculum. This third story is based on the third step of Joseph Campbell's hero's journey process. This third step is called cross the first threshold. Here you can see the 12 steps of Joseph Campbell's hero's journey process and the seven main archetypes. This story will encompass steps five through six. Step five, Little Jack's attempt to cross the first threshold. And step six, Little Jack going through tests and meeting up with allies and enemies. You will also hear more about some of the characters of Joseph Campbell's hero's journey. The hero, who is Little Jack, the mentors, who are mainly the ancient one and Little Jack's mother, the herald, the threshold guardian, the shapeshifter, the shadow, and the trickster characters. Listen to this next story about Little Jack. Now that this sixth grader has accepted his call to adventure, the time has come that Little Jack will have to cross his first threshold. Unfortunately, he finds that crossing that first threshold is not an easy process to go through, as there are sometimes subtle and not so subtle enemies or threshold guardians trying to hold him back so that they can keep him from being successful. Fortunately, Little Jack also finds that the Ancient One and possible others serve as allies who will help him to cross that first threshold successfully. Please note, this boy is called Little Jack by the older guys he hangs out with after school. Why? One of the eighth grade boys is also named Jack. To avoid confusion, they call the older boy Big Jack and this sixth grade boy Little Jack. Chapter One, Little Jack Gets Pressured to Drink. Little Jack was feeling all mixed up. He had gone to a party at Sam's house. First, he found out that Sam's parents weren't home. Next, he saw that there was a lot of alcohol available. Then, Sam and some of the other guys were trying to pressure Little Jack into drinking. Sam said, Hey, Little Jack, have a drink. Little Jack responded, I'll take a Coke if you have one. Sam said again, No, have a beer. Little Jack said, No thanks, Sam. I don't like beer. Sam asked, Well, how about some rum or vodka? My parents have a well-stocked bar. Little Jack said, No thanks, Sam. I'll just have a Coke. Another guy named Brian said, What a wimp! Come on, Little Jack, have a drink. These guys offering Little Jack peer pressure were definitely threshold guardians for Little Jack. Basically, they were threatening Little Jack with a loss of their respect and possibly friendship if he refused their offer. Little Jack had a big decision to make. Little Jack's spirit was strong. His first impulse was to say yes, just to get them off his back. He thought he could just pretend to drink if they gave him a can. If it was in a glass, they would be sure to notice that he was keeping his lips closed and not really swallowing. But then he got kind of angry. His brain kicked into gear. Little Jack said, Hey, Brian, why are you so determined that I drink? Are you afraid that I'll tattle or something if I don't? Brian almost stuttered in surprise. Well, uh, no, I, I guess you wouldn't do that. I just want you to join in the fun. Little Jack calmly stated, Look, Brian, it's fine if you choose to drink. I just don't happen to want to. Can you live with that? Brian said, Uh, 
Yeah, little Jack, sure. Okay. Hey, Sam, get the guy a Coke, why don't you? Sam grinned and said, Coming right up, little Jack. Little Jack ended up having a great time. He felt proud that he hadn't let their peer pressure get to him. He showed courage by saying no. Plus, he was able to keep their friendship as well. The power of Little Jack's spirit helped him survive another set of threshold guardians by using his instincts and his intelligence. Little Jack's spirit felt stronger than ever. Tune in to the next video for Chapter 2 of the story called Little Jack Crosses His First Threshold.